In this video, we'll show some of the advantages of Trend Micro's Cloud One Cloud Security Services platform with respect to application security. Trend Micro Cloud One application security is designed to be integrated in environments where traditional security cannot be deployed. For example, when using serverless or some container platforms such as Fargate, you don't have access to the underlying operating system to deploy the same security agents you may use on your data center or cloud workloads. Cloud One's application security is a patented runtime self-protection technology that protects your web apps and customers from application layer attacks. Let's see how the Cloud One application security can be used to protect an application. For this demo, we have a small API that is designed to scan uploaded images. It is built using AWS's API Gateway, Lambda, and Recognition. On the web page, the user can choose to upload a single image and the API will look for objects and draw a bounding box around them. The web page also supports uploading of a zip file of images and each image will be scanned and the bounding box is rendered. When you upload a zip file, the Lambda function uses a command line tool to identify which files in the zip archive are images that need to be scanned. The command that's executed is written insecurely, and if a zip file is generated with files that resemble these, the semicolon allows you to inject arbitrary commands that will be executed by the Lambda function. The first file will add a sleep, and the second will download a Bitcoin miner to use the Lambda function to mine Bitcoins for the attacker. In this demo, we'll use the sleep command to force the Lambda function to time out. If we upload the bad zip file, you'll see that the upload continues to run until the Lambda function times out. This is a great example of a vulnerability that can be easily missed in such a small backend service. Now we'll install the Cloud One application security tool to provide protection for this endpoint without requiring a rewrite. This application is managed using AWS's CloudFormation, so we'll update the CloudFormation template to install the application security library, and the change will look something like this. What you're seeing are some new parameters to pass through the credentials which are being passed in as environment variables. And then, there's a change to add the application security lambda layer and changing the runtime to be a custom runtime which is provided by the application security lambda layer. Now we'll package the change set and deploy the packaged version. Once this is complete, the application will now be protected. When the application security is installed, it defaults to an alert-only mode. So if we try to upload the bad zip file again, we'll have the same results on the web page. But in the application security interface, we'll see information on the attack details. There's a set of information collected on the attacker, the time, and some Lambda metadata, including the request ID, the function name, and version. There is also information on the attack itself, showing the injected command. This request was not blocked. In order to block this attack, we'll change the remote command execution to mitigate, and this change will be automatically sent out to all the libraries. Now, if you attempt to upload the malicious file again, we'll see that the request is blocked. Now that the vulnerability has been detected and protection is in place, you can go deeper into the event details to get the full stack trace, which you can pass on to the developers in order for this vulnerability to be fixed properly. In the meantime, Cloud One's application security is protecting your application. As you can see, Trend Micro's Cloud One application security has been designed to protect your web apps and customers from application layer attacks and it is easy to implement. It provides you with protection and detailed information that can be used by your development team to address the vulnerability and fix the code. For more information, please visit 
www.trendmicro.com slash hybrid cloud.